Do you have a bunch of these scattered wires that are coming out of a J box or an electrical box and you just don't know where they're going to? I'll be showing you how to trace these wires. Just a quick disclaimer, we are gonna be working with electrical components on today's episode. My electrical codes and your electrical codes might be different, so always make sure that you always have the current electrical codes in your current area and you have the proper permits. Make sure you turn off the power from your circuit breaker. And if you're unsure and unconfident with working with any type of electrical work, please contact and get a certified qualified electrician to do the job. With that being said, let's get into today's episode. Maybe you're working on this particular J box and you took out the outlet and the switch or a receptacle and you accidentally didn't label it and now you don't know where it's going to. On today's mock-up, I set it up where I bunched up all these wires. Actually, there's three cables that are going through this J box and they're pretty much scattered all over behind this drywall, either leading up to this light fixture J box, this random wire area right here, or they're just going to that other single gang J box over there. So our goal for this video is we're gonna try to trace out where all these are. We're gonna label them and see if we come across to the right one. There's two parts in this video. First, we're gonna test out which of these kit or wires lead up to which area. And the second part, we're gonna try to see if we can trace and outline where these wires are coming from by using our tool. The tool that we'll be using in today's video is this cable tracer. It comes with the toner and the probe. I'll leave this on the description down below. I'll leave a link so it'll make it easier for you to find this product. Now this comes with two alligator clips, a red and a black, and it also comes with a phone jack. We are just gonna focus on wires, which is these alligator clips. Turn both on and it's gonna trace out where the cable is. The simplest way to explain this is that you attach these to whatever cable or wire that you want to trace and the closer you get to the end of it, the, the volume of the tone gets louder and louder. So some of the key features of the probe is that it comes with this replaceable tip. It does come with a light, so just in case you're working in a very dark area, nice speaker. It has a earbud jack right there, so if you want to use headphones, you can uh, insert it through this jack. And what's cool about this, it has a verifier. Let's just say that you only, you finally found the paired wires that you want to do it. By using these two, this thing will light up and it will confirm that that is the right one. And I'll show you that all later on. One very important thing before you start tracing and attaching these clips to the cables, you must turn off the power from your circuit breaker. Not only is it so dangerous, but it would also mess up your tools. Attaching this to a live cable will pretty much destroy it. So make sure that you turn off the power from your circuit breaker. You wanna just try to do your best to group up all the, the wires to their uh, respective cables. If you can see the sleeve where they're actually going to, that's even perfect. Now you know where they're actually grouped up and that's half of the battle. I'm gonna go and chase out this two right here. We're mostly gonna be working with the, we're not gonna be working with the ground. We're gonna be working with the hot and the neutral. Separate that two inches apart minimum. And the black or the red, it doesn't matter where it goes to. All you're gonna do is attach it to the bare wire. Just turn on the device. So once it says continuity and it's green, then you're ready to go. And it actually defaults to 800 Hertz, but you can scroll around there and pick one in whichever tone that you want but we're just gonna stick with the default. You can control the volume levels. Go and try out that light fixture first and see if that's the one that's that connected to. So we do have a faint sound. Let me turn up the volume. Let's go test out this miscellaneous spot right here. Again, still raspy to this one gang. Right there, it's solid. So if you look at the bottom of the probe, there's a positive and a negative. Red clip always goes to the positive. The red is connected to the white, so the white has to go to the positive side of the probe. Black is connected to the black. Just to make it easier, we're gonna connect that to the negative port. The, to the positive. And then we're gonna hook up the black to the negative. You don't even have to turn on the probe. This probe is actually off. Right when you connect those two, this thing will light up. If that lights up, that means you have the right connection. Let's just say that you took this out, okay? And we put the ground wire in here. 
Let's see if it's still light up. See, notice how it doesn't light up. Let's go and test something out. Let's move the black clip to that ground wire and see if that lights up. See that? Since I moved that to the black clip, it lit up. So I'm going to label this group number one. Let's go ahead and attach it to this one now and see where it goes. Okay, the sound the sound gets loud here, but if you go deep, if you go deviate and go elsewhere, let's just say we're going to the one gang right here. The sound is still there, but it's very faint. We go to this miscellaneous wire, it's faint. But as we get closer here, there it is, solid. So notice it lit up. That looks like it's the right pair. So we're gonna label that number two. The last part, connect the red to the white, the black with the black. So the tone is coming here. The tone is coming out from here. Not here. It's a little faint right here, but it's super loud right there. It lit up. That's the right pair. We'll pair that number three. We're gonna go see if we can actually trace these wires by following their trails. Let's go back to the third one that we did. Let's just attach that to the white. Attach this to the black. Looks like it's loud here. So I hear here. So here is be so we got so we have run number three, two. So black to black. So let me point this out to you. See that these are connected. That's number two line, and this is number two. If we put this together, as those are touching, there's no continuity. Okay, even though that these are separate, but the other end at the top is connected there's no continu continuity. It has to be that they are, the black and the white are not touching. So faint tone, faint tone. Looks like it's loud right here. Faint. But it's a little higher. So it's actually up here. I changed my mind, so actually up here. Neutral, black, loud there. From here to here. I'm seeing here, looks like right here. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty weird. It's following the tone. So it looks like it's coming from down here. I'm out of tape. There's a sound there, but definitely right here. So I think it's a little more down on this area here. So let's me let me move down here to here. And then it goes up. There. This is not meant for this, but we're gonna go try it anyways. Now let's go remove this drywall and let's see how accurate we come across and we, if we actually label that out. All right, you guys ready for the results? Let's go. And this one came actually pretty close. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think. For the moment of truth, let's go and go with start with number one. Moving, I'm gonna move this. See where it's moving? Right there, it's the bottom one. One, trace it. And that's correct, good. That's one point. Number two, 
right here we're moving it it's this whack it's this cable right here right there it's one middle and number two perfect third it's this one let's move that around so it's this one following here here three all right, so that's three out of three. You can't trace single wires for this. It doesn't have to be paired. All you have to do is take the red alligator clip and let's just say we want to trace the hot wire right here, the black, attach it to the one you want to trace. And then for the black alligator clip, it's preferred to attach it to a different uh, cable, but you have to attach most preferably to the ground wire. Everything is nice and spread apart from end to end along with here. Then you make sure on the on the toner that it's on continuity okay and that when you're tracing this if you go right here so notice how it's a little faint there but it gets loud here it's a little faint loud faint really loud again you can use this tool with any type of wiring not just a 12 gauge or 14 gauge wire. You can use these in different cat level uh, wiring as well. And you can use this for automotive as well. Again, this is just the basic of wire tracing. This is just to make it nice and simple. I didn't go through all the details using the phone jack, but again, this is just for the beginning part for the beginner DIYers. If you just want to know how to trace each wire, I think this is the best tool to use. Again, if you're interested on this product, I'll leave this on the description down below on the link. Make sure you check that out. So again, friends, if you found this video super helpful and if you liked the way I did the mock-up on the back and the way I presented the video, please hit that big thumbs up. It'll greatly help the channel out. And again, leave in the comment section down below what you think and what you use to trace those wires behind your wall. I'll see you friends on the next video.